Osborne, 1996, <coughs> October 22nd in Seoul, Korea. I stayed in Korea until age of seven. Basically, I didn't have like any much Korean foundation. And that was when I moved to Toronto, and I stayed there until second grade. And after second grade, I moved to Shanghai, China for like the next four years. And, and then I moved back to Vancouver, Canada, and then I finished my eighth grade there. And, that, and when I entered high school, that was when I came back to Korea. When Stephen came to Korea, he had a hard time adapting to this environment. My friends and I would almost speak Korean every day and every time we meet. But when we hung out with Stephen, it would be hard to communicate with him because he was really bad at Korean at first. But as time passed by, he was able to adapt to this culture and we were able to communicate and hang out easier because he started to learn Korean. After being in Canada for quite a long time, it was pretty hard to adjust to the cultural difference. Um, first of all, like I don't know much Korean because I've spent most, most of my life in foreign countries speaking English or like a bit of Chinese. So basically when, I, when I'm like in cabs, they don't understand me. So I had to like, like call my mom or just text it out and show them. And also like the high schoolers here, they would just like stare at, stare, stare at us like when I'm with my friends talking English and we sort of have like this like staring contest but nothing violent went on, thankfully. When I first came back after um, landing in Incheon Airport, I remember waking up and seeing these tall skyscrapers in Yeido State, like Yeido area, and like it was pre it was pretty like wow, because like in Canada you can only see like pretty tall buildings if you go to downtown, and I didn't have much reasons to go to downtown uh, Vancouver or Toronto. People here, um, especially my friends. Um, we would rather just like go PCing, PC bong, like there's like a bunch of computers and we just play games. League of Legends. Or sometimes like with other people we just go have fun at Dorabang. It's, it's like basically like a room and you can just like sing music. I mean Dorabang is kind of boring, I mean at least for me. And because like in Canada I also used to just walking in the park with like a bunch of friends or just doing sports and then not do any right now. So I, I think that's pretty much of a big difference and um, another thing I noticed is that it's much louder in Korea like at night. Sometimes you hear like motorcycles or like ambulance or like police cars and you even hear people fight. So in Canada if you do that it will be count like they'll consider it as disturbance to the peace and people can can get in trouble for that. So I think that that was also like a big difference I saw. Um, I didn't shop much because people didn't there don't shop as much um, as they do in Korea. Like when I came to Korea, like there like shops like this and that. Yeah, a lot of people started shopping. Like when I became when I came to Korea.